Welcome back to the Foul Scoundrel. I thought I would share uh, a project I've been working on from Magnet VFX. Uh, he's an awesome Unreal 5 tutorial maker, and he was inspired by another video made by another creator. I'm not sure, I can't remember the name, but it's a video he made called Unrecord or Unrecord. And it is this awesome photorealistic run through a factory it's like a cop is running after a, a robber or something and uh it, the the graphics are mind-blowing so uh magnet vfx did a tutorial inspired by that video and i followed the, tu the tutorial and this is my project um this is my first go at making something photorealistic and i put a link to the video for this tutorial in the description below so if any of you want to take a stab <laughs> at making something photorealistic in Unreal Engine 5, it is a really good tutorial to follow. Um, hopefully my next project turns out a little better. I was a little confused by some of the texture blending, um, aging on some of the walls. It was a little, little hazy on some of that. So um, anyway, this is my broken down factory version <laughs> of Magnet VFX's unrecord inspired tutorial but yeah this is a uh, one more step closer to creating my own video game i was really hoping to get into game development before the end of the year <clears throat> that's why i bought a new computer um i've been taking tutorials on unreal 5 for months now and this is uh this is pretty much the best work i've done uh thanks to magnet vfx and his tutorial uh this is as close to photo reel as I could possibly get it at this point. I'm sure uh, learning a few more tricks, tweaking a few more lighting, uh, a few more things with the lighting, I should say. <laughs> it may, may be some weathering, a, a little better job on the weathering. I can get it to look absolutely real, but not too bad from a first go at photorealism. I like all the texture grading, all the lighting effects, and... Uh, the extra props and all that stuff that are free when you download the Unreal Engine 5. Uh, the Epic Games has done an excellent job putting this together and, and a really good job making it easy for everybody who is sincere about creating their own video game uh, to use. So hopefully we see more independent games in the future. I've been watching a lot of indie games come out here lately and wow, it's just mind blowing. Um, the Grey Hill Incident's another one there. Here's a, a, another good example. And I've been watching those games. I, I like the genre, the alien abduction genre and uh, survival horror. And uh, I like the third person where you get to see all the environments and, and everything. When you're in first person, I think you miss a few things because things go by so fast. So in third person, it allows you time to kind of take it all in and enjoy the work that someone actually put into the game a little more.
Hey everybody, if this is your first time to my channel, uh, hit the like and subscribe button and hit the notification icon that way you are notified for more content that drops just like this. And remember, if it's from a galaxy far, far away, you are never far from a good time.